everyone. Welcome back to The Traveling Man and welcome to Circleville, Ohio. Um, today brings us to the Racks, which is like an Arby's competitor. And they had a lot of these in the Columbus area and then they left the market. I'm not quite sure if they're from Columbus originally or what, but there's a few of them around Ohio. They're very historic. Um, leave a comment down below. Do you think restaurant reviews should be on try this or should they be on the traveling man? Because I am traveling and exploring, but then I'm also trying something. But unfortunately, due to the COVID bullshit, we can't go inside and actually review the inside of the place. At least I don't think we can. If I can get inside to take a couple of pictures, I will. But I'm going to order some food and then go find a park, uh, someplace that I can go and uh, review the food because I've wanted to go to this place for a long time and we are going to persevere and we are going to try out this food before they all disappear because I fear that the pandemic uh, may cause them to disappear completely. So join me on whatever channel we decide to put this on as we enjoy a meal from Rax. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have the um, regular racks uh, roast beef sandwich. Uh, if I if I get the combo, what's that come with? Fries and a drink. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. And then. What kind of fries want to drink? Uh, what kind of fries? Can I get the the curly fries? All right, now let's drink. Um, cherry coke with no ice. And then let's do a, a number four combo with curly fries and a uh, Fanta orange. All right, Aaron, I got with everything. Yeah, that's it. I think it's 15, 14. Thanks. Alright everyone, now I'm in downtown Circleville, home of the famous Circleville Pumpkin Show. I know I've done videos on that before, so check out The Traveling Man if you want to see those. This year, unfortunately, I don't believe they're going to have the festival due to the crap-ass pandemic thing. But anyways, um, so I'm here to try out racks since I couldn't try it out in, uh, try it out inside their dining room. The dining room's closed, it's drive through only. But look at this, this is right in downtown. I just found this nice, uh, this nice table and everything. So, and then we've got, there's a, if I spin around, there's a big mural back there, which says pumpkin show on it as well. All right, this is what we're dealing with. I got my racks roast beef cup with cherry Pepsi and then this is, it came in a bag like this. It says racks on it. Let's see, we got napkins, ketchup, crown collection tomato ketchup. I've never heard or seen that in my life before. I've got my curly fries. And then I've got my sandwiches, more curly fries, oops, better get them on camera, more, they look really good, more sandwiches, I think one, I think this is the regular one, and then this is the bacon cheddar one, I will not be trying the bacon cheddar one, I'm going to try the regular one, that says turkey on it, I thought this was supposed to be roast beef, I don't know, but then that says chicken, so who knows, crazy wrappers. And then that's it, except for some little scraps at the bottom. All right, let's get into unwrapping. All right, so here it is. This is the Rax Roast Beef Regular Sandwich. It is quite windy today, so excuse the audio if it sounds like a bunch of crap. Anyways, um, this is the regular roast beef sandwich, and it looks good. It looks just like an Arby's one. I'm trying to get it to not fold. There we go. 
Nope. <laughs> this is this is a fail. Hang on. Let me put some curly fries right there. That might help hold it down because I wanted to show you. There's the inside of your roast beef sandwich. It's about the same as like an Arby's roast beef junior sandwich. And the curly fries look very similar to an Arby's. All right, everyone. Well, we got a storm blowing in, so I'm going to have to do this review quite fast. It's getting really, really, really windy and black. All right, so let's try the curly fries. I'm gonna try them without ketchup just so I can get all the flavors of the curly fries. Hmm. Well, comparing them to Arby's, which would be their competitor, um, they taste very, very similar. I think Arby's have a little, the flavor is stronger on the curly fries, but these are definitely good. They're nice and crunchy. They're not wimpy. They're, they're exactly like Arby's, just a little less flavor on them, not as strong. I like them. And if you like Arby's curly fries, then you'll absolutely love these ones too. All right, here it is. The roast beef sandwich from Rax. Let's try it out. Well, it's delicious, just like an Arby's roast beef sandwich, but I think I'd go to Rax any day just because it's, you know, historical, if you want to call it that. It's a classic. It's almost like one of those, the thing you grew up with, and then you're like, ah, it's just so good. Whereas Arby's, they're everywhere, and they're mass marketed, and I don't know, Rax is really good. So if you have one near you, the, they got some spread out through Ohio, check out a Rax. Well, after enjoying that amazing meal, I decided to go up into the Columbus area to get some Handel's ice cream, and I encountered these really bad storms. Hey guys, welcome to stormy Columbus, or rather, Powell, Ohio. I'm getting rained on here. Ah, this is awful. It's been, I just had to drive through like a torrential storm. It was bad for like a whole half hour, 45 minutes, but I'm here at Handel's. It's a, uh, local ice cream place that's around Ohio. They're out of Youngstown, Cleveland area, and I love their ice cream. They've got so many crazy flavors. They've got flavors like grape ice cream. Where have you ever found grape ice cream? I'm getting cookie dough ice cream, and I'm gonna try it for you right here on today's episode of whatever the hell channel we're on. <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the grape ice cream and that sky is really blown out. Ah, I hate it. I don't know that I hate the grape ice cream. I think I remember having that once before. I can't really remember. Here's the grape, whoops. Here's, here's the grape ice cream. Mmm, tastes exactly like a uh, grape soda or grape pop, grape popsicle or grape sucker. Not like, not like grape juice and not like grape jelly. It's that artificial grape flavor, but it's good. All right. Let's see if I can get some of the, ah! All right, everyone, here's cookie dough and I'm losing my ice cream again. <laughs> Ooh. I don't normally like chunky ice cream and by chunky ice cream, I mean ice cream with chunks of stuff in it. It's got chunks of chocolate chip in it. That's delicious. Wait a minute, I think it might even have chunks of cookie in it. Yes, 
it does have little chunks of cookie in it, and it's great. Mmm. Uh, 